live gloves are mostly just for fashion. They don't really protect you from anything. Mm -hmm. If I opened a restaurant, it would be called That's Hot. Mm -mm -mm. Hey everyone, it's Paris Hilton. I'm here with Seventeen. I'm gonna show you how to make my fluffy frittata. Let's do this. It's coming along, it's getting tan. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel. So on my new show, Cooking with Paris on Netflix, one of my favorite dishes to make was the fluffy frittata. Kim K and I made it together. It was both our first times. We thought it was gonna be really hard to make, but it was actually super fun and so easy. And I love it so much that I actually cook it for my fiance almost every single weekend for brunch. So this is my new specialty. Breakfast is one of my favorite meals, so obviously I know how to do scrambled eggs, omelets, all of that, but I feel like a frittata is something that's a little bit more elevated, it's elegant, and it's just super fun, and I'm really excited to show you guys how to do this today. So first I'm gonna put the oven to 400 degrees. And the next step is prepping the bacon. I hate touching bacon because it's gross, so I take this. I don't know what it's called, but it will work. And you want to like cut them into little slices, which I learned on the show because when Kim and I were cooking it, I, we made the slices too thick and we just didn't like it, so then we had to like cut them up again. So. I would just cut them very small since this is going to be something that's inside the frittata. I just want it to be very finely cut. My tip for taking the best selfie is all about finding the angles that you love and using a Lumi light because lighting is everything. This bacon is beyond because it's really slimy. So hopefully when we cook it, it will be better because this looks gross. So now it's time to make it cooked. One of the best meals anyone's ever made for me is my mom. She's the one who taught me how to cook Italian food and she makes the best lasagna. Let's check on the bacon. Just wanna like squiggle it around so it can cook on all the sides. Mm -hmm. The first thing I learned how to cook was lasagna, and it's been my specialty ever since. Mm -hmm. If I opened a restaurant, it would be called That's Hot, and it would be just all of my favorite foods from my new cooking show, Cooking with Paris. The bacon is coming along, it's getting tan, and it's very greasy. So just keep smushing it around and put it higher to make it faster. But always put a top on it because otherwise all the oil will fly up under your face and then you'll be missed. The secret to cooking great food is just to have fun with it and make it beautiful. I love using edible glitter because it just makes everything sparkle. My advice to my younger self would be to always be confident and believe in myself and work hard and dreams do come true. Now that's ready. The fire is off. I don't know why it's still doing that, but I can pour some of the oil out, otherwise it's too oily and gross. Ah! It's hot. I'm <laughs> scared. Okay. Ew. There's so many crystals in there. <laughs> Next, you just put it on a little paper towel so it can get the rest of this oil off. I thought there was much more. So the next step is that I'm gonna slice the tomatoes and saute them. So we take 10 tomatoes, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've grown up in LA my whole life, so I've never really been starstruck. The only time I was, was when I was in London. This was like, I don't know how long ago, a long time ago. And my song, Stars Are Blind, it just came out. And I was at this award show because I was about to present. And I felt someone tap on my shoulder. And then 
my friend looked at me and was like, it's Madonna. I was like, oh my God. And I just turned around and that was the first time I ever met her and was just like so excited because I've looked up to her ever since I was a little girl. So yeah, that was the only time I was ever starstruck. <laughs> She's so cool, I love her. I love my little Hilton so much. They send me the most amazing fan mail. And one of my favorites was from Betty. She made this amazing book that was just all of these photos and just things that have happened in my life. And it was just like this amazing photo album that she wrote in and it just, you could tell that she put so much time into it and it meant so much to me and I love it. Thank you, Betty, I love you. Chop these up. One more. Time to saute these guys. Turn that back on. Ow! <laughs> God. Yeah, these sleeve gloves are mostly just for fashion. They don't really protect you from anything. <laughs> just look cute. But these do, and they're Barbie. So next up, we are gonna take these six eggs and crack them into this bowl. I have so many iconic outfits from the 2000s. But the most iconic one is my 21st birthday dress. I love that dress. I feel like every girl should wear it on their birthday. And it just makes me so happy to see so many girls inspired by it and wearing different versions of it themselves. So next I'm gonna add a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream and some sliving spices. All right, this. Spices. My advice to influencers today is to be a good influence on people and also if you want to build a brand off being an influencer, it's important to work hard and really dedicate a lot of time to it. And also never let the fame get to your head. Next, you will stir this up. Be careful if you're wearing a cute dress so it doesn't spray all over you. Eh. Like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So next I'm adding the eggs and bacon to the tomatoes. Let's do that. And then I'm gonna take a half cup of this Parmesan cheese and just sprinkle it on top, and then it's going in the oven. Okay. And now we wait and it cooks for 12 to 15 minutes. So now it's been around 12 minutes and we're ready to take out the frittata. Chives and you just garnish the top of the frittata like this. Sprinkle. It looks hot. Loves it. All right, time to try this. Mm -mm -mm. So good. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching me make my fluffy frittata. I had so much fun making it for you all. And make sure to write in the comments if you wanna try this recipe. And also don't forget to tune in to my new show, Cooking with Paris on Netflix. Kim K and I are making this frittata and it's a lot of fun. So enjoy and I love you guys.